we're gonna do a test with milk crates to find out what happens when you if you should shoot out of a milk crate using HDPE tubes all of these tubes were collected from various kits uh, mostly Excalibur world-class and cutting edge which is also world-class <clears throat> all the tubes were uh, plugged and those are uh, I think one inch plugs down in there you can see depending on how they were made however you know they were cut the base is off and plugged that some of them are slightly different heights What we're gonna do, like I said, we're gonna take these 1-4 shells, we're gonna load them upside down, and um, we're gonna start with a corner, just to see what happens, and then we'll move into the middle, and we'll do one there. We'll check the integrity of the tube after each shot, uh, and the milk crate itself. Now this milk crate does not have a reinforced bottom, it's a standard, this is just a standard milk crate. Um, so if we do that and everything works good, then I'm going to go ahead and I'll fire two simultaneously in the middle. And if those still don't show anything, I will do three in the middle and we're going to see what happens. Um, and let's do it. All right, so we're gonna try another little rack configuration. This is just a, a custom little rack that was made. Uh, we're gonna launch, we're gonna uh, go upside down in here. And uh, we're gonna see what happens to this rack.
similar outcome. Lost the wood plug someplace. All things considered, the rack didn't hold up all too shabby. All right, next up. And that's a, that's a good reason for not having your tubes right next to each other or having some separation in them. Now I'm gonna do a traditional 12 shot rack like this, uh, all the same. These are actual um, HDPE tubes purchased and whatnot, but doesn't matter, it's all the same. So that's what we're gonna do next. I will load the shell. Uh, let's see, load it in the middle. Yeah, we'll load it in the middle. We'll try to keep things consistent. Actually, it could be random because you never know when a shell is gonna fail, so we'll take a look. All right, so it looks like it's in uh, tube number four. All things considered, this rack really looks good. I mean, what are we looking at here? I mean, let's get out a little bit. So, tubes are good. It, really, what happened? It looks like so. Looks like this tube popped out a little bit, and it blew out the side. But we look here. I mean, this sideboard is is definitely broken. It split this, but. The overall integrity is still really good. That all just needs to be screwed in back down in there a little bit. You can see there's some where it split it out, but I mean, here are the other tubes that were just along the side of it. These all. Well, that would be a testament to a properly built wood rack. Safety. Now, even if there was timed fuse or something on there, you know, it's still going to potentially pose a problem, but certainly um, not as bad as, it, as some of the other racks. So there we go. Hope you found this helpful.